In recent political developments in South Africa, the African National Congress, ANC, has faced growing calls for removal from power, with Floyd Shivambu, deputy leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, calling for the careful removal of the ANC. Shivambu's statement has stirred a substantial debate around potential alliances, especially as he indicated a willingness to collaborate with other opposition parties, including the Democratic Alliance, DA, and the Freedom Front Plus, FF Plus. To achieve this goal, this shift in tone suggests a significant change for the EFF, which has traditionally positioned itself as a radical alternative to both the ANC and DA. Shivambu's comments underscore a growing sentiment among South Africa's opposition leaders that removing the ANC from power may require cross-party cooperation, regardless of ideological differences. In a recent statement, Shivambu emphasized the need for unity across political parties, stating that all political parties, including the DA and us, must come together and carefully remove the ANC. This bold proposition challenges traditional political divides, especially as it hints at the EFF's readiness to align itself with parties whose policies have historically been in stark opposition to its own. In his speech, Shivambu was clear about his commitment to creating alliances, even with parties that the EFF would usually see as ideological rivals, such as the DA and FF+. For Shivambu, the common goal of unseating the ANC appears to override long-standing political differences. This stance from Shivambu marks a strategic shift in the EFF's approach, as the party has often been known for its intense criticism of both the ANC and DA. Since its formation in 2013, the EFF has garnered support by positioning itself as an alternative to both the ruling ANC and the more market-oriented DA. The EFF's platform has primarily focused on radical economic changes, including the nationalization of key industries, redistribution of land without compensation, and various measures intended to transform South Africa's economy in favor of the poor and marginalized. However, by signaling an openness to work with the DA and FF+, parties that support free market policies and minority rights, Shivambu's recent comments suggest a more pragmatic approach to achieving political change in South Africa. The ANC, which has been the ruling party since the end of apartheid in 1994, reacted strongly to Shivambu's comments. The ANC Secretary-General expressed disdain for what he saw as opportunistic maneuvering by Shivambu and the EFF. He criticized Shivambu's openness to cooperate with the DA and FF+, framing it as a lack of consistency in EFF's political stance. Floyd Shivambu says, we need to remove the ANC carefully, everywhere. Then they ask him, are you ready to work with the DA and FF+. He says, all political parties, including the DA and us, must come together and carefully remove the ANC, the ANC official remarked, questioning Shivambu's willingness to abandon the EFF's principles for the sake of forming alliances. For the ANC, this potential cooperation between the EFF, DA, and FF Plus could signal an intensified challenge to its dominance in the upcoming elections. The possibility of the EFF working with parties like the DA and FF Plus raises questions about the future of South Africa's political alliances. These parties hold fundamentally different policy positions, with the EFF advocating for extensive government intervention and economic reforms, while the DA and FF Plus typically support market-driven solutions and protections for minority rights. Despite these differences, Shivambu's remarks indicate that there might be a shift towards a more cooperative political strategy within the opposition, driven by a shared objective of removing the ANC from power. The notion of ideological rivals coming together reflects the urgency felt among opposition groups in addressing the ANC's long-standing rule. Since the EFF's founding, its leaders, including Shivambu and party president Julius Malima, have been outspoken critics of the ANC, often highlighting issues like corruption, inequality, and the ANC's perceived failure to deliver on its promises. For over two decades, 
the ANC has held a dominant position in South African politics, but recent years have seen a decline in public support for the party due to various challenges, including economic stagnation, unemployment, and allegations of corruption. Shivambu's willingness to consider alliances with other opposition parties appears to be a response to these dynamics, acknowledging that significant change may require cooperation across the political spectrum. The timing of Shivambu's comments is also significant, as South Africa approaches its next national elections in 2024. In recent years, coalition governments have become more common in South Africa, especially in major cities and metropolitan areas where the ANC has struggled to maintain a majority. The prospect of coalition governments is particularly relevant in urban centers like Johannesburg, Chwane, and Nelson Mandela Bay, where no single party has secured outright control. With the 2024 elections on the horizon, the potential for alliances between the EFF, DA, and FF Plus could reshape the political landscape, particularly in areas where the ANC's dominance is waning. For many South Africans, the idea of a coalition between parties with contrasting ideologies may raise questions about how these parties will reconcile their differences in policy. For instance, while the EFF promotes the nationalization of industries and the redistribution of land, the DA has traditionally advocated for economic growth through private enterprise and a free market economy. The FF Plus, on the other hand, has a strong focus on protecting the rights of minorities, particularly the Afrikaans-speaking population. Despite these differences, Shivambu's comments reflect a pragmatic approach, suggesting that the opposition may be willing to compromise on certain policy issues to achieve the broader goal of political change. The ANC, for its part, has expressed skepticism about these potential alliances, arguing that such partnerships may be unstable and lack a coherent vision for the country. The ANC Secretary-General's response to Shivamba's remarks illustrates the ruling party's view that the opposition's newfound openness to alliances is a sign of desperation rather than a viable political strategy. However, with growing dissatisfaction among voters and the rise of coalition governments in local municipalities, the ANC may be facing its most significant electoral challenge in decades. In conclusion, Floyd Shivambu's call for the careful removal of the ANC and his willingness to work with opposition parties like the DA and FF Plus represent a potentially transformative moment in as South Africa heads toward the 2024 elections, the prospect of cross-party collaboration adds a new layer of complexity to the political landscape, raising questions about the future of coalition governments and the potential for significant change in the nation's leadership. If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on more discussions around South Africa's evolving political environment, and share your thoughts in the comments, how do you feel about these potential alliances, and do you think they could succeed in unseating the ANC?